Hi Ali, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on our lesson yesterday. Uh, so here's your chip in action. So we can see here it's set up, looks very good. You know, ball's a little bit further forward in the stance, which I like. <clears throat> Hands aren't too far forward, which is great. Weight, you know, 70% on this left foot. So I really like that. It looks very similar to the guy here on the right-hand side. A couple of things that we needed to look at. One was, as we take the club away, we're going to see here that your wrist tends to sort of break a little bit too early. So we can see there's a little bit of hinge there. Uh, I don't mind that as long as you can maintain that angle into impact, but in an ideal world, we'll take that out. And as you come through, you're going to see here, we can see here how, you know, how much ahead this left wrist is coming into impact. Now with you here, you're going to see because of that, you're going to flick, flick the ball up. So it's almost like you're trying to scoop it. And that's the reason why you're hitting a few fat, a few thin, and distance control is, is tough to gauge. But we can see at this point here, I mean, look at the shaft angle. And then your left arm, they, they don't really match. We look at this guy here on the right, you're going to see there very little wrist hinge going back. And on the way through, you're going to see here, look at that left arm and club at impact. One complete straight line. If we go back to yours at impact there, we can already see it's starting to break a bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit. But through impact, if we look at this guy again, you know, look at that left arm and club. It's just staying solid all the way through so even now at this point here way after impact we can see that left arm and club's good where yours we can see already it's breaking so i gave you a good drill we put uh, one of them alignment sticks down the club and you just had to work on that if you made a bad swing the, the stick hit you you know it's a very easy drill but it just encourages you to lead with the hand so we want to control the whole method with the chest uh, so it's no hinge back no hinge through and just keeping that left arm and club one solid line for me and that was really easy and you picked that up quite quickly and obviously change club uh, for how far you want to play the shot when we went back a little bit further we played the same shot again like a longer bump and run uh, and then we played a couple of pitch shots you were good at that just around the green if we want to spin it a little bit more let's open the club face when you tended to open the face of the face pointed this way your hands tended to go backwards like this direction. So just be careful that when you do open the club face alley, that the hands are, or the shaft is still leaning on your left thigh. That's massively important. And then from there, we can just let the club slide under. But again, you must let the feeling that the club bottoms out coming into impact. So one practice swing I like to see is that you address in line with the ball in this first blue line, and we practice hitting the ground anywhere in front on these you know, little marks I've made there, and that, that gives you that feeling of always bottoming it out uh, and getting the uh, the point of impact correct. So keep that left arm and club one nice straight line, and we use that technique all the way around the green at the moment. That'll keep life simple. If you want us to float one up, we open the club face. Uh, apart from that, that will be good enough to get us to a super level. So work on that for me, Ali, and I'll see you soon.